All right, answer me this. If an app has every restaurant and store damn near under its belt, how do you think that would keep a driver's AR from being low? Because if you're talking about fast food restaurants, we're talking about burger joints, and we all know fast food right now is expensive. Everything across the board is getting expensive, but customers are not going to pay you the amount of money that they would pay for a steak, sushi, Chinese even, pizza. High-end restaurants, right? Make the base make the biggest bang for your buck when it comes to deliveries. If you're an app and you have every one of these restaurants under your belt, nine times out of 10, you're going to force people to believe that an AR is important, right? Because you need your money. You need these orders picked up. So you're going to put that out there because you want the driver's that's actually going to fall into it and believe what you're telling them, they're going to say, if you do not take these runs, your AR will drop and you won't get runs. They'll put you in pause. They will, they will put you in timeout. They will um, turn your app off. This is what drivers believe. Now, I'm going to tell you something else that's different too. If you go back in history, right, there was a guy named Jim Jones. Jim Jones got on a pew, on a puppet, on a puppet or whatever you want to call it, pew, whatever it is, and he got on that mic and he just won, 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 and he hypnotized all these followers, just like the guy that blew his horn, they said, overseas a long time ago in history and got rid of all the rats. They all fell into the music. They believed it followed him, and he, drew, he took them right over, and they all went into the ocean, right? That's how they got rid of the rats. DoorDash is like Jim Jones. It has all you guys spooked and fooled. Now, I'm not telling you to do it because I got rid of them, right? And there's no hate. It just means that what he was saying, I don't believe in. It's not my beliefs. And I have that freedom to do that. I don't think he cares about me. Right? Because he's telling me that I can't get on his app unless I do this or I do that. And you have drivers that need it. You have other drivers that's in the want game. If you're in the want game, then you don't need the BS. You're not, you're not here to play games. I'm not here to roll the dice and hope I can log in today. I hope I can get in at this time because I got something to do at 12 o'clock. I always see people talking about they scheduled. They're scheduled. I'm scheduled. The f <laughs> I almost curse. <laughs> I'm like, what the hell are you talking about? You scheduled. It makes no sense. I heard people talking about drive by time. The only thing I'm here for is between me and my customer, you plan an order, depending on what restaurant it is. If that order comes to me and I like that number, you got it. I'm going to move. I'm going to make sure I do everything professional in my power to make sure you get your order delivered to you the way you're supposed to have it delivered. That's the only thing I care about. I'm not caring. I don't care about the app. I don't care about the restaurant. I only care about the customer and because that is where our money comes from. The app does not pay us anything. Jack, $2, $3, $4. That's it. So why should I care about the app when I know the app doesn't care about me? So I take advantage of the platform, which is Uber Eats, Grow Up, Hub, and Favor, and I work my way through, which customers make sense to me that wants to make something happen if you're paying me a certain amount you got it if it's not 
I hit the X and I'm not concerned about an AR drop because that's not what I'm here for. I'm not here to be concerned about the AR. I'm only here to be concerned about making my quota and making sure that I do right by my customer that placed that right order to get me to move. That's it. So in five minutes now, <laughs> because I just put up a 30 minute video, but in five minutes, this is actually what I was trying to say, but I was saying a lot of other stuff, man, in between. So what do we see, place and pay. Uh, do I want to do that? No, that's sold out. It's still early. But anyway, that's what I was trying to say, man, in, in a nutshell. So basically, the AR does not matter. Does not Do not be afraid of an AR. In my video, though, I did show you my numbers. So look at those numbers. And I'm still here. I've been doing this for three years. So you can cut it off because it's a long one. <laughs> when you think you had enough, cut it off. If you got to the point, if you if you think you got the point. <laughs> but anyway, yeah. So now we're standing out here waiting on orders. With that said, I'm out, man. This is the bag, man. Peace.